What's up, family? We are here for Tribal Quotes. We got Tribal Quotes. It's Tribal Quotes time. I want to welcome you. I want to say, first off, great Ujamaa to each and every last one of you, family. Embrace your principles. Stop running from yourself. Because the sooner you stop running from yourself, you can start facing your enemies and start making them bow. I'm telling you right now, family, listen, it is, it is a busy, busy week and it's gonna be a busy weekend for me i have the capital trip the capital trip is popping off let me go and make sure i read it out so that everybody can get it the capital trip is up the capital trip is popping it is going down at alum creek state park on the 20th through the 22nd i'll be coming straight from my workshop which i'm gonna talk to y'all about in a minute talk to y'all about in a minute Location, Allen Creek State Park, Lewis Center Road, Lewis Center, Ohio. We will be at the group campsite. Family, feel free to join us. Uh, not exactly free, but it's $20, you know what I'm saying, for each individual. We're doing $50 for families, so come. Come as a family. Enjoy yourself. We're going to be building. We're going to be working. We're going to be having fun in the sun. We're going to be able to sit by the fire on those cool, on this, on these cool, because we're moving into autumn. And I want you all to know it's during the equinox. 
You know what I'm saying? We late, but it's happening during the equinox, so it's going to be perfect camping weather. It's going to be hot during the day, cool during the night, so that we can go on and do what we need to do. I had a young man come up to me and be like, Brother Tim, I want to do my ombleture. I said, man, you need to talk to your sponsor. You need to talk to your sponsor, young blood. You know what I'm saying? Come on, brother. You know, I can't just jump over your sponsor. I, You know, I need to talk to your sponsor, right? So that we can go and get stuff set up. Because, you know, you telling me two days before it's time for us to go out that you want to go you want to go out there and do your vision quest. Come on, brother. But he young. And I appreciate it because, but with my son Cleve, Cleve set a pattern that, that he don't even understand, right? Because when Cleve went out there, because Cleve was suffering, man. Cleve like, my dad make me sick. He going to make me do this. I want to do it. I don't want to eat. I won't sit in the rain because I won't be sitting outside all night. But what he don't realize. That he has started something, right? He has brought something to life that other other young people say, if he did it, I could do it. And the reason I knew Cleve could do it was because I did it. So it's in you, man. It's in you. And he got a spirit animal. Although he's showing attributes of the spirit animal. I be careful what you wish for. Spirit animal is a raccoon, and anybody know that damn raccoon? God damn, God damn raccoon, and chose my son, and now I'm dealing with raccoon problems in the ghetto. Some bullshit, but that's life, right? So we had a capital trip tomorrow. Tomorrow, let me go to my the uh, who suite because I want to make sure y'all hear this loud and clear. We will be doing a rites of passage training. I was trying to get somebody to call in, but you know, you know, they complain about how old they are and how they got to get sleep and it, uh, you know, uh, it's not important enough to come on the Gianni Journey Show to talk about the rights past training. Number 614-556-4535 because I just stepped on somebody's toes. They somewhere right now saying ouch and knowing how you got to know your people, knowing how my people is. She ain't going to let that shit slide. She ain't gonna let that shit slide. But we got a workshop going now. Rights of Passage Program Development Evaluation. Register at Franklin County Urban Workforce Development Initiative 2019. We need you to register. Cause I, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Tomorrow, which is near September 20th, 2019, from 9.30 to 4.30 p.m., Columbus, Ohio, Columbus Metropolitan Library, Martin Luther King Branch. 1467 East Long Street, Columbus, Ohio, 43203. Rise of Passes Program Development and Evaluation. So we're not only going to talk to you about setting up a Rise of Passage. We're going to show you how to set up the evaluation for a Rise of Passage. Right? We're going to talk about the real Rise of Passage. How it's a culture. How it's a lifestyle. And not just some shit that you give the kids. See, because a lot of us, we get caught up. We want to just give something to the kids. But in actual fact, this is the foundation of a culture. I just want y'all to imagine with me. You don't have to close your eyes. I'm closing my eyes so I can tell you the story. But think about it. You have a gentleman about my age. And he has a tribe. A group of families. He ain't still having children. Not all by him, of course. But this man has developed the skills of being able to track animals. And he's so good at it that he's the only one that has to do it. He know all of the secrets. He know the watering holes. He know how to find the watering holes. He know how to follow the tracks. And predict exactly where the animals are heading so that he could go on and take a shortcut and cut them off. He picks up all these things, not by magic, but by his experience and by his wisdom. He picks up all these things and he got all of this knowledge rolling around in his head. And everybody in the tribe is just waiting for him to go out and get these animals. He brings back an elk one day. Brings back a boar the next day. 
antelope, buffalo, any animal he could track it. And he has these skills and everybody is depending on him and they're doing their little thing. But then all of a sudden, lightning strike and it just happens to hit his ass. What happens to the tribe? Somebody else has to learn all that stuff from the beginning to get the tribe back to eating the way that it was eaten before. Every now and then they stumble into stuff, but they eventually disband and spread out because it's too many people to support. And this one man was doing it. But what would have happened if this man was passing on his knowledge to initiates coming through the society that they had developed? What would happen? That culture could have moved to a whole nother level. That group could have moved to a whole nother level. That's all I'm saying to y'all, family. Rites of passage is about passing on lessons and culture so that individuals do not have to go back and bang their head up against the wall to try to figure out some things. Listen. Listen. It's a very, very important process. So let me finish. The Rights Pass Program Development and Evaluation. The first 25 res registrants will receive a free um, book called The Hero's Journey to Self Mastery, an interactive workbook. An interactive workbook. Lunch will be provided. Presentation designed to introduce. Rites of Passage Programming to AOD Prevention and Mental Health Promotion Staff and Administrative Level Professionals. The workshop outlines the need for ROP or Rites of Passage through comprehensive evaluation and needs assessment presents a successful program development plan and evaluate the impact and integrity of prevention through ROP. Learning Objective, the Role of Rites of Passage and Prevention Outcomes Risk assessment and program development and impl implementation. Rites of passage um, for SPF and SIG compliance. Well, somebody just called in. Who Gina. this? Gina. Oh, it's Lady J. What's going on, I Lady J? She's going to try to act like she don't hear me. That's cool. She might just be listening in. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. We are going to move straight into our folk tales. We're going to move into our folk, I mean, no, our quotes. So the quotes for the day are, we are on day 83 in the Jami Journey Workbook. And speaking of that, let me do my commercial. Once again, family, I need you to go on and register for the free GNJ e-course. It's free GNJ e-course.com. Once again, Free GNJEcourse.com. Check it out. I will be launching the page after this weekend. I'm going to launch the, uh, a specific page for that so that you can get all of the updates on what's going on with the free e course because I want y'all to really get involved so that we can actually do some real building. Family, I'm trying to build a tribe and I have to get individuals who have some of the similar, some similar cultural values. And stuff like that. And not only build tribes, but build a group of tribes. Because when you get a group of tribes, you have a true community. Let me say that to you. Let me say that to you. We have a group of tribes, you build a community. Giami is just one of many tribes. There's other tribes out there, they may not might not have a name. But y'all out there, and we're looking for you. I want to give you some of the tools to help you formulate and build something that's real. And also build yourself. All right. So today, folk. I mean, proverbs are day eighty three. If you wish success in life, make perseverance your bosom friend. Joseph Addison. Number two, men are not prisoners of fate, but only prisoners of their own minds. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Next one. Misfortune do not have a set day for coming. Once again, 
misfortune does not have a set day for coming. So, um, since nobody's really responding to me and my chat bot is down on my other station, I got to I got to figure out what's going on with that. And I ain't getting no messages through Facebook. I'm just gonna have to go on and just go on and run with it. Um, Lady J is on. You know, I'm sending shouts out to her. Thank you for tuning in. We are live on Periscope, Facebook. We're also live on YouTube. All right? So here we go. Let's start with number one. If you wish success in life, make perseverance your bosom friend. If you wish success in life, make perseverance your bosom friend. Family. Oh, we have somebody else on the line. Who's calling in? Greetings, brother. This is uh, Uma Yaya. How you doing tonight? Good, sir? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good, man. I've just, uh, just, just tuned in, man. I see you on Facebook. I'm on, uh, the speaker. I'm still trying to navigate your technology, brother. But uh, I'm trying to navigate it myself. <laughs> I'm still trying yeah, to navigate man, but, uh, yeah, I was just calling in, man, just to support you, man. I'll be at that uh, I heard. tomorrow. I heard you're going to yeah. present a little something for us tomorrow, huh? Uh, Well, I'm going to do the best I can. Well, that's all we can do, and that's all we can act. Yeah, yeah I, I'm very uh, honored to uh, even be asked, man, because I hold you and uh, Sarah Hoffa in high esteem, you know. And I was looking forward to come and just learn and build, man, and get uh, more involved. Oh, man. Uh, doing, you know, my part. It's going down so, tomorrow. Uh, it's going down tomorrow, family. Let me tell you some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about. Well, um, uh, now, there is this evil rumor flowing around about Brother Hatim that I just get up on stage and speak forever. That's an evil, that's an evil rumor being spread by I won't say who it is, but you know we got a Jedi Sith battle going on. Um, but okay. you know some of the stuff that we're gonna cover tomorrow that I'm covering, I'm gonna cover a lot of the stuff that is available that will be available or is available on the. Uh, oh man, I went to the wrong site. A lot of stuff that's going to be that's available on our e course. Because what I'm what, what what I'm trying to get people to understand is this. The day of the old seminars is gone. Right, right. I I'm not yeah. you don't just have to leave with a book. You leave them with a course. You can leave with a course if you choose to take the course. You know what I'm saying? And you can have the access yeah to the people we should have access to some of these people with all the social um the social technology that's out here you know what i'm saying in some form or fashion right. whether they're having a live and they talking with the people live so that I, they could they can answer questions and i make myself i try to make myself available at least once sometimes in a week i make myself available for these conversations four times a week i do a show right. every day I don't want people to understand the commitment. And this gets back to the proverb. They say, if you want, if you wish success in life, make perseverance your bosom friend. And I'm trying, um, I, I'm trying to be, I, I try to, I try to demonstrate perseverance. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm doing. Because a lot, a lot, a lot of times people listen in. And, well, I ain't going to say that, but, you know, like, they be like, why you do so many shows? Well, it's not necessarily just for me. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, one day, my kids won't be able to hear me yell at them and tell them what they shouldn't do or give them instructions on what they should do. But they will be able to review some of the stuff that I'm leaving online now. And I ain't just talking about my blood children. I'm talking about some of my, my, my older sons and daughters out there. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're going to be able to plug into what's left for them. Because what Rites of Passage is about is, is about establishing that legacy. And not only establishing that legacy where I'm able to pass down 
material goods to you, I'm also able to pass those mental and those spiritual tools to you as well. Right. I, I, I want to chime in. All right, well, go ahead. I want to say that right in the passage of, it's also about handing out those tools. Those tools that allow you to maneuver to life um, and for our young people to maneuver to young adolescents. And if you don't have those tools, what happens is when you're faced with obstacles, you won't be able to demonstrate perseverance. And so what I feel like the, the proverb is saying is that success with success, you have to know that you're going to meet some obstacles. You have to know you're going to meet some some uh, 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 some brick walls. You have to know that you're going to meet some some times when when you fail, and you have to be ready to fail. But you have to know that per, uh, that success comes from overcoming your failures. Success comes from overcoming those brick walls. Um, and I, uh, like you said, perseverance. Persevere. So you can't have success if you if you're not ready to persevere. You can't have success if you have not met an obstacle. You cannot have success if you cannot if you have not met a trial. You cannot have success if you have not met a tribulation because that is what success entails. Mm. And for our young people, that that is what we teach them. We teach them not to give up when they meet obstacles, when they meet trials, when they meet tribulations. We give them tools that allow them to persevere. That's right. And I, I mean, I, and that's one of the most important pieces. Learning, because because with, with rites of passage, what we do is we make it possible for young people not to have to make the same mistakes that we did. We prepare them for some of the traps as well as some of the shortcuts in life. Like the story I told you before. Like the story I, I did right before... Uh, um, 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 brother, brother called in. Uh, um, Moyoya, before we, right before he called in, we talked about the story. You got this great hunter, but if he didn't pass the information down, the tribe would break up. The child, the tribe would starve. So you got to pass on the information that you have to the next generation, so they can improve on it. And we each, as a generation, have a responsibility to add on to. What the next generation is gonna get? Always. So in the workshop, some of the, some of the stuff I'm gonna be covering tomorrow: unleashing the power of Nguza Saba, understanding how folk tales, myths, and legends work, and why it's important to either plug into one or to create one. Wisdom mining, the power of, uh, of libation. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff that's in this e-course. I'm running down the list, but go ahead. Somebody else, somebody else is on the line. Go ahead. Well, you know, my, my thoughts, and I agree with what's been said. Uh, you know, just also just remember that we're all connected and that we can't uh, do this by ourselves. Word. Uh, uh, you know, it's just, it just it takes everybody. And sometimes uh, I know in my journey, it's just been times when I just didn't know, and I was just grateful for the elders. And when I say elders, sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean an age thing, but also somebody maybe experienced the thing that I'm facing now. And sometimes I have to um, humble myself to ask for help or to ask for guidance or ask for the information to get me through a situation. You know, I can't do anything uh, by myself. And, uh, you know, that's just important, and, and I'm real grateful for that because I wouldn't be here without uh, the village, the people that wrap their arms around me and guide What's me. wrong? Come here, 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 what, what happened? I'm sorry, my baby hurt us, though. What's that? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Would you, you stub your toe? Okay, you're going to be all right. Be all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Real life is Jeremy Journey. I was about to get up and leave this motherfucker, boy. I'm trying to tell y'all. I ain't, ain't want to keep you, man. I, I didn't know you were going to sign off, man. All right, but hey, I, I see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I see and I'm looking forward to it. So, family, those of you that don't know, listen. Like, I was I was trying to read it to y'all. Tomorrow, they are, we going to be getting, I mean, it's going to be, you got... Hold on. I want to make sure y'all understand. 
Not only are you going to be getting free material. Now, let me say this. The material you're going to get it is the hero's journey to self-mastery. An interactive workbook. Now, dope book. It's going out for free and everybody don't got it. Those of you who love books, right? Y'all need to come and get this because this is going to be a rarity because it's not going to be in everybody's library. And it gives you a step-by-step. -step. It teaches you step-by-step -step how to walk through the rites of passage process as well as move towards self-mastery. I don't even want to say as well as move to because the rites of passage is about self-mastery. Period. You know, um, and once again, we will be it will be going down tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. At the Martin Luther King um, Branch Library at 1467 East Long Street, Columbus, Ohio. And right now, we're modeling this proverb of perseverance. Because some of us out here stuck with rights of passage, or we was with rights of passage before the money came, and we stayed with rights of passage after the money left. And we made it part of our existence. Come and get the real. Get the real. I'm just saying that. I, I, I'm saying that. You know what I'm saying? You miss it? That's on you. Because I don't know when the next time I'm going to be doing the training here. I don't. It's well, my fault. We do one every other week. But, you know, that's not necessarily like this. Because it's focused. And I got to be on my game. Because Terra House is coming on her game. And I'm not going to let her outshine me. <laughs> okay, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Buddy. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So, if you want success in life, you have to make perseverance your bosom. That means you're close up towards your bosom. You hug and perseverance. In order to make success happen. Family, listen. One of the things that I advocate. And I, and I know I, I know a lot of people out there disagree with me. But I say constantly that we have to give our young people safe spaces where they can fail. Where they can fall down. Where they can mess up. Because when they get out in the world, they don't get those opportunities. We need to make sure. One of my elders, and I always go back to this because Elder Shedrick always amazed me with this with this shit. At Simba Camp, he would ask young people what they wanted to be, and he would tell them, "Go start failing at it now." Say, so, I mean, why would you tell them that? I mean, you know, first because you know, first because Elder Shedrick was always different. Like, why would you tell them to go? He say, because when you fail, you learn. If it's something you you learn, and in learning, you know what I'm saying, you become better. So you fail, and you fail better. All right, somebody else called in, too. We got Brother Shock on the line, and surprisingly, he quiet. I don't know what's going on. But then we also got somebody calling in from the 843. 843, who that? Yeah, this is uh, Minister Chief Elder John Henry on the call. From yep. Georgetown, South Carolina. How you doing okay, today, sir? I'm doing black tastic, my brother. How you doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Great. I'm somewhere in between the sky and the earth and ain't touching dirt in no way. <laughs> I, I know that's right. I know that's right. You need to check your inbox, brother. I need to who? On Facebook. Check your inbox on Facebook. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm yeah, I, I let I'm listening. I left you my uh, my I left you my cell phone cell phone number. I just got done watching um, Philip Matthews show that you was on. Yes, sir. Yeah, and so I said I had to link up with the brother. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that because I seen the 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 the, 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 the post that you put up. But I haven't been able to see anything in my inbox yet. But I will get to it, and I got I got it right now. So this number you called in on is the um, number that you're talking about? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I write it down, and I will. I'm, I'm gonna try to call you after the workshop tomorrow. Tomorrow, after um, tomorrow evening, we will be rolling out to the woods. So I'm gonna be out in the woods all weekend. So I probably won't be able to call you until early next week. And you say it's John Henry. Oh. Yes, sir. Chief out to John Henry. Okay. Now let me ask you a question, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, after I heard your conversation on the video, you see what I'm saying? I said, that's one brother that I need to uh, connect with. So I went to my author and I called your name out. And, and it said it's to reach out to the brother by all means necessary. <laughs> yes, sir. And then I was, I was, I think I was on the site when it was saying that, um, um, a call is going to be coming in tonight or something like that. But I know, I said, well, let me text that number. I couldn't text it, so I called my daughter. And I said, how you text a number that don't have a number in your phone? She said, give me the phone, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so she so, 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 so hooked it up for me, and that's how oh, we made this connection. Yes, sir. I just put I just put your name in my book because this... Well, this book right here, because I got different books. This is my notebook that I've been working with um, since I um, hooked up with uh, Philip Shop Matthews. You know what I'm saying, Reverend Shop, and I've been filling it up with all of the information he got me. So I got your number in there, and we will be hooking up. But we also have Brother Shaka on the line, and once again, I don't know what's going on, Shaka. You scared? What's going on, man? I just had to let this let the universe do what it needed to do. I'm just checking. Sometimes I can, yeah, yeah. I'm making sure everything is cool. So we did the first proverb. We did the first proverb. So now let's move to the second sense. Uh, and Lady J, you got a choice between number two and number three. What number are you choosing? Better yet, is the chief elder still on the line? Oh, we also got, oh, oh, my fault, and Brother Kwame is on the line as well. Um, all right, Lady J. Number three. Number three. Misfortunes do not have hey, a Lady set. Lady J, I know you there. Say again? I was saying hi to Lady J. I didn't know that she was on, on the line. Right. Greetings. It says, misfortunes do not have a set day for coming. Once again, misfortunes do not have a set day for coming. Anybody want to hit that one first? Can you read it again? Misfortunes, misfortunes do not have a set day for coming. I'll, I'll hit it. Go ahead, Lady J. Let me hear you. Yeah, so I, th I think we get so caught up in our blessings um, and our good times that we forget that bad times will come. Ooh. And if we, if we accept that bad times will come and the bad times will end, then we won't be um, so out, bent out of shape when they do happen. I feel like a lot of times, just speaking of my peers, um, when things are good, we're singing praises. When things come bad, we forget that we've experienced those bad times before. And we forget what we did to persevere through those bad times. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And so if we can remember, I think that bad times happen, and, 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 and they happen so frequently, um, and they happen like seasons. You know what I'm saying? I think about the farmer who plants his crop, and he has to work in the field at least nine months out of the year before he reaps his benefits. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I think that sometimes we forget that that is what life is like. We're going to have bad times, but then those good times are going to come. But the, the, the point of those bad times, when they come, we have to remember that this is not the first time we've encountered them. Right. And that we have persevered, and we have made it through, and we have figured it out, and we have uh, 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 just overcome. You know what I'm saying? 
But if those bad times come, it seems like sometimes bad times come and people forget that they've seen bad times before. And so they're not prepared. But they, they shall come. They do come. And when they come, we need to remember just exactly what happened the last time. Mm. We made it. All right, let me read a couple of comments. Brother Kwame says, as long as misfortune comes with Mr. Fortune, I won't mind. <laughs> and he also brings up the ant and the grasshopper. And Miss, uh, Miss Yao herself, hold on. I want to make sure I'm saying the day name right. No, Miss Yao, also known as Sister Regina, says, always be prepared. You know what I'm saying? And, and and Lady J laid that one out. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, like I said, always be prepared. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then once again, because like what I like what you said, Lady J, is like, because like I said, getting back to the rights of past peace, part of it is teaching children or teaching, not just teaching the culture, the post perseverance so that they know how to persevere and know that there are techniques for making it through hard times. We have always had them. We have mastered them during this time. And we can use them right now to move to a whole nother level of life. You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, sometimes we get so caught up in, in the fortune, in the blessing, that we forget what it means to sleep on the damn floor. You know? Jump right on in. Go ahead. I say, I say. <laughs> So, the, uh, the thing about this one is, I had to think about it, because it's not about struggling, it's not about suffering, it's about misfortune. And when I look at the things that are unfortunate, that occurs in our lives. Um, when I hear you say, be prepared, because it's the conditioning that we lack. What I am hearing is always be preparing. Mm. Because if you are in a state of preparation constantly, then that means that you are living in that state of preparedness. Mm. Being pre, you understand what mm -hmm. I mean? Being prepared versus always be preparing—that's a behavioral thing. And I think that, especially when it comes to um, our rites of passage uh, institution today, what we're looking at is changing a behavior a detrimental behavior to a brand new behavior because it's not a behavior that was taught to us by our parents and our grandparents do you understand what I mean? our family values for those of us who are deeply ingrained in, in the rites of passage um, community we're realizing that there's certain things that we're teaching that wasn't necessarily privy to our parents and grandparents. And in doing so, we have to we have to teach that understanding that our foundation, our fundamentals came from our parents and our grandparents. And without offending the nature of what they taught us. So it's, it's not a thing of, like in other cultures where we're teaching um, a new generation, an old tradition. We are bringing a new tradition through a behavior that starts with that always be preparing. Because if it's, if it's in you, if you believe in it, and you move by faith, then it's hard to distinguish the curse from the blessings because as soon as misfortune comes your way, 
because you know that that's not that's not your position. You're you're constantly moving in a state of preparedness. You're constantly moving. If you are if you are solution, then you're constantly increasing. So it's the way that we identify with what is is misfortune, and in, in a more alchemic way, I would I would have to say, because I look at the things that come my way and certain people are like man how how are you dealing with that how you how are you calm right now knowing that this system is 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 moving this way because i understand the nature of that system and i know that it moves slow and i know that in that time because i'm faithful a blessing will come mm. and that's always been my behavior so well, I can't say it's always been, but I've I've observed that that's the behavior that keeps me blessed. All so right. Back to the proverb. Go ahead. Um. Uh. Now, because I want to go back to one of Kwame's quotes, because he wanted to play with the words, but in, in a nutshell, he's saying what you're saying. He says, as long as miss fortune, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, he been it's black Yoda, y'all, <laughs> y'all. He's being clever. As long as Miss Fortune comes along with Mr. Fortune, I don't wow. mind. You know what I'm saying? And that's like what you said, being right. in that mind state to understand that whether it's Miss Fortune or Mr. Fortune, it's Fortune. Because really, I want y'all, I want people to think about this. And, and, and really, really, just, 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 as they say, ruminate on this for a second. When you look at everybody who has been successful throughout history, they all had to step through the gauntlet of misfortune. Uh, misfortune is an initiation. Dang, back to rites of passage. It's an initiation to see if you are worthy of what's going to be given or what you are moving into. You understand? It's like, you know, you spend all this time practicing and preparing. And when the moment comes, you didn't know that the moment was going to come when the moment came. But when it came, all of the hard times, all of the stuff, all of the struggle, you was able to call up the true you. Right there in that moment. And shine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Also, um, Brother Kwame, so tomorrow at the Martin Luther King Library, we will be having the Rites of Passage um, training. Um, I'm talking to people about setting up Rites of Passage, the Rites of Passage process, and being also able to evaluate that process. So whether you make it a part of your life or whether you make it developing... Uh, a program somewhere and even those of us that create programs we got to understand that we are bringing we are bringing our family together and whatever you set up you need to make sure that it is sustainable because it's like this some of us get so caught up in fun sometimes that we miss the real value of what we are building of what we are you know what I'm saying because like I said I've been doing been doing what I'm doing with, with our money for a very long time. Y'all hear me complain about not having no money, saying go on, donate, blah, blah, blah. But the shit happens. Right? And what I'm trying to get, you know, but the family, like I said, we can help it come a little bit faster. But hey. 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 Yeah. What can I say? Can I keep for a second? Yes, sir. Uh, host Heaven Blesses, my brother's my sisters, kings and queens. Uh, going back to number three, uh, before I get off the line, because I got another call to go on to. I just want to bring something from the physical realm and the spiritual realm. Everything starts with a positive and negative. We cannot give, keep giving energy, our energy, 
to negative situations because we are divine spiritual beings having a human experience. And it's just like your car battery. It has a, a positive terminal and a negative terminal. Both have to coexist with each other. That's balance. It's like the universe. It has balance. So if we connect, when we connect with our inner self, not our outer self, our inner self, and understand exactly how every organ in our body operates on tones and vibration. Because at the end of the day, everything coexists with vibrations and tones. It's not terminology. That's European. Because what we are experiencing, rather... Whatever, let me say it like this, whatever you project in your reality, that's your existence. If you project it in your existence, what is being projected at you, then that's your existence. And this is what the ancestor has always been speaking of in the halls of, Ma, in the halls of Ma'at. They left the blueprint for our existence and our survival without the terminology of the European, let me get away from this dog, without the, the terminology of the university. And because when we feed into negative energy, we given it that power to overcome us. Because everything is an illusion. Everything around you is an illusion. It's been set up that way. So when you look at it in a metaphysical terminology and a physical terminology and a spiritual type terminology, you see only things that exist because you allow it to exist. So we have to step out of that realm of thinking and concentrating on our ancestors because we are our living ancestors. I tell people I'm back to buy 600 million of our ancestors that didn't make it to the shores of North America. And I bear, and I bear witness to our ancestors. I went through rites of passage. I was given the title of chief elder because of my inner spirit, not my outer spirit, not my thinking. But the wisdom of the ancestors that has allowed me this opportunity to even be on this call here tonight as a witness and as a guide to our people, the melanated people, here on this land, our original land. I don't give nobody authority over me any longer because I am what I am because of my ancestors and this is all of our time to rise each one teach one the halls of my eyes as you go through the rites of passage don't forget about the 42 principles of my eyes because that's our foundation that our great ancestor had laid for us Yes, we may put layers on top of layers, but the original, not the clone, the original laws of my eyes will always be for eternity. I yield the rest of my time. I say, I say, I say. I say. Um, yo, and uh, Brother Kwame wrote in, many of our grandparents had cupboards that remain full of food items, canned, dried, and powdered milk, and many more, I can't even recall, coming out of World War II. They kept a kind of storage of food, of course. I speak for those who had misfortune enough to have it like that. Um, let us simply make harmony within ourselves, within our families, and within our people. I shake. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared. 
or as Shaka say, be preparing. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's what the Rice of Passage is about. That's what it ultimately is about. It's about us preparing, right? Preparing, preparing ourselves, preparing our future generations. I mean, in, in, a, in a sense, pulling on the energy of our ancestors, making that energy present today in our actions because that's how it's expressed. Now, last one, and we're going to get up out of here. I got this piece of the eat. I ain't eating no pieces right before this. I know y'all saying that's not culturally appropriate. I'm going to put some palm oil on it. Put palm oil on it. Men are not prisoners of fate, but only prisoners of their own minds. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. How appropriate for that. I'm not, I'm going to refrain myself from the words that I would speak. You know, Did you say fate or faith? Fate. F A T E. Mm -hmm. I'll Can you say, say it again? I'll say it again. Men are not prisoners of fate, but only prisoners of their own minds. Now, from a standpoint of geometry, I, I could attack. I could attack that on many levels, because in 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 many ways it's true, but in many ways it's false. So, which angle y'all want me to come from, unless somebody else is gonna take it? Okay. All right. So y'all know we talk about geometry. I am ESP, intuition, mental, emotional, spiritual. And physical. I am ESP. Intuition, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. When all those are aligned, we form and balanced out, we form a power that is unstoppable, but all of them are necessary. Mind being out of balance. Where is mine? I am. Mind being out of balance. It's just as bad as the emotions being out of balance. It's just as bad as the spirit being out of balance. You know what I'm saying? We're not really suffering from a mind issue. We're suffering from an imbalanced issue. Because, of course, if the mind is off, the emotion is going to be off. If the emotion is off, the uh, intuition is going to be off. The intuition is off, the spirit is going to be off. And if all those are off, the body is off. This is why we get a lot of physical ailments. Because we are not lining all those up. But all of those have to be dealt with. All of those have to be um maintained and kept healthy. The black Yoda said it is within the paradox that we find our great ooh it's when the pair within the paradox we find our greatest truth. Right? Because like I said, because now it okay. it benefits the system that we exist in right now for us to focus on one of the five. Rather than balancing on making all five of them strong. But of course, I want to work on my emotions. I'm sorry, that's the emotional finger. I should never, look, I should never tell my kids, some of my kids that. I had a kid running down the hall the other day. Brother, I tell them I'm feeling emotional. <laughs> I had to stop. I had to stop. I had to stop him for no. You can't no. You can't suspend him. No, no, no. He 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 got that legitimately. He right. He was emotional, but some of your minds. Some of us are so focused on just the mind that we're missing the intuition and emotions. Right. You know, and that's go ahead. That where we are right now is. Globally, uh, globally, imbalanced. Like we are, uh, we are more uh, a, a male-dominated species. And I'm not speaking of sex. I'm talking about the energy. And so, in that, we have this polarity consciousness that it everything either has to be right or wrong. It's either white or black. It's either apple. Or PC is is what you know what I mean? It's the polarity. You always try to throw uh, the apple up in it, man. I ain't on that. Yeah, well. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. 
And so, I, I, we, I would, I, I we, apologize for intervening, but I would say we're, we're more likely, I, I agree with what you're going with, but I would say that it's more of a feminine energy. Well, that's what, and, and that's where I was going with it, hey. is that what's coming was, because the thing is, is that when you, when you understand the, uh, the parallels between uh, masculine and feminine, left brain, right brain. What we're dealing with is this: we are we are incredibly um, a, a, a left brain uh, in that polarity where everything becomes a straight line to one way or the next. The where we're moving into is a unity consciousness where we are able to see things um, as a whole and not in part. Um, a unity consciousness and understanding that everything, you know, chaos, chaos and order, uh, depending on your position, are the same thing. Say that again. I said, in a when we're able to see from a level of unity consciousness versus a, a po polarity consciousness, we are able to see that chaos and order are all in the same. Well, they got different names. It's just, it's just a it's matter of your position. <laughs> Why they got different names? Then? Let me ask you this. Huh? You sound like I feel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, I me mean, got a point. I wasn't even going to agree with him until you said he sound like me. So now I got to agree with him just to mess with you. So keep it up. Go on. I, go on, I, go on. I agree with him, too. I think of the yin and the yang, right? right. And I think that you have to you have... You need both of them. You have to have an equal amount of both in order to stay in balance and to stay in equilibrium. I won't even and say so equal amount. I won't say equal amount. I'm going to say the balanced amount. Because when you say equal amount, that means you need the right, same... Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because what if one is a little bit more potent than the other? So... You well, need okay, so a then, balanced if, amount. If that's the case, then he sounds like me. <laughs> if, if that's the case, then he sounds like me. Uh, all right, family. Lady J has she she took a break for a while. Took a break for a while. She trying to start some shit. So what I'm gonna do? In all seriousness, I'm gonna give both of y'all opportunity to go on and have have your last word before we close it out. Because we've been over an hour. I don't want to keep the show over an hour right now. Because this is a work night for most of us. And I have to get my mind ready. Because I got a dynamic workshop that I have to. You know what I'm saying? I got to be like Michael Jackson in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if that's a good example now. Because they. The, uh, I got to be a good performer. I got to be able to do my thing. Tomorrow. So I need to go and get my sleep and I need to get my stuff together. I got it, you know what I'm saying? So um they um better yet, Shaka, you got some closing words for the people? Man, I was just getting started. I know. Okay. I know, but I gotta I gotta lay it down, brother. I gotta lay it down. And I Well, listen, for everybody else who might feel like me and might have had a little bit more to say and fit into, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Giannami Journey uh, uh, show. Do it live after you can I get pick off. Up 13, oh, you can pick up 13 tracks of mine to write to and to write all your words of wisdom. Just look for Papa Shaka. No, no, Shaka, Shaka. But, get on while I'm on and post up a link. Say what you're going to say. But then before I go off, 
post up the link so that those that's come in after us, if they listen and watch the show, they'll see it pop up. We got to start learning. You know what, Tim, you're a genius. You, you are a technological genius. I would have never thought it out that myself. You got, I Thank mean, I, that's I, all I I'm have trying to for tonight. Lady J? My message is the same as it always is. We are in the midst of the uh, great awakening. Do something today and every day in the spirit and to support the movement. Um, this could include reading the book articles, donating to a cause, volunteering your time and or services, and using social media networks network to enlighten and inform. I apologize to have part first. You need some ambrosia. Um, I, really, I really do feel today and every day that the most powerful movement that we have is in our political um, participation. That could be signing the petition, marching, planning the people, peaceful protest, or participating in a boycott. Um, tonight, I am um, reminded that there is um, a desperate need for balance. I am reminded that um, there are reasons why we do this right to passage, and that although even in our right to passage movement, um, we seek to um, eliminate or, or uh, to, to, uh, elim- yeah, to eliminate this need for our youth to go through the things that we have encountered, um, I am reminded that there is beauty in failure, there is beauty in trial, there is beauty in tribulation. And so if we, if we have those tools that we need to overcome, um, we then gain those experiences. And those experiences is what makes us better. So just remember um, that the choice is ours. We have the power to use our platforms every day, each and every day, three to one, each one. Um, remember, the more money we keep in our pockets, the more change we have, the more change we make. I say, Brother Shaka, I'm trying to hold the show off until you are able to post up the link and then also take some time to post up the link on um, just the general site as well. All right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm still waiting for the link. I mean, do you want to give me the link or is you going to post it up? What the hell are you doing? Huh? Ain't it? You ain't post shit up? On, on Facebook just now. You posted on... Which one you posted on? Not the timeline, the uh, the comment. Okay, you, all right. Now, also, go to Jeremy Journey Timeline and make a post as well. Okay, I got you. Stating what you said, maybe even putting up a small video, letting people know. You know what I'm saying? Now, right because like I said, I'm trying to master this digital piece, and we will be having a workshop up here soon, and we're gonna, I'm, I'm trying to get some... Um, so people that's going to invite, that's going to attract a lot of people so that we can have us a course on digital nomics so that we can bring bring an expert down here to help hit people to how we can use this stuff to really, really move forward. Family, I'm just, the information I'm getting is just mind boggling. All right, but yo, but yo, this is Brother Hot Tim. First off, I forgot to let y'all know that you are now standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. Anytime, lady. Anytime. And the man, I'm so disappointed in you. Damn. Um, Brother Kwame asks, what time is the workshop? The workshop started at 9.30. I don't know how early the library open. You be asking some good-ass questions, but you be asking the wrong people. You know, I mean, you already know, Brother, how Tim fucked up on schedules. I don't know how early it opens. Um... And what time we are, I am going to be leaving for the park at about 5, 6 o'clock. Because I got to get my kids. 
I gotta switch cars. Got you know, cause I gotta you know, you know, just just hit a brother up. Hit hit me up tomorrow. I know better tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not a time dude. And of course, you know this has been Tribal Quotes, and this is the Heart of a Simple Production. <laughs> when we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. I'm out. Peace, family. I will see you in the morning for the Daily Toast. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow in person for the training and workshop because it's cool.